Watch the show. Watch the show. Give me a head with hair, long, beautiful hair. I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. It's more so being in the show and, and having that ensemble, um, tribal kind of like vibe of, you know, all of us getting close to a level that has never been reached before uh, with us because a lot of us didn't even know each other. Um, so now we're all like really close and it's, it's awesome. It's a really, it's a really cool vibe. I just got my hair cut, so now I get to put a beautiful wig on and become the most beautiful beast in the forest. So that's gonna be fun. Yeah. <laughs> He's a very complex character, very abstract, very energetic, very very energetic, and I love that. His intentions are always in the good, in the right place. Um, I think that he he has. He has love for everyone, um, but I think at the end of the day, he, he just wants to do what's right, and he's conflicted about that. Whether he should, you know, go with the tribe and, and kind of follow the pack and, and you know protest and be that guy, or if he should kind of like, you know, do do what what America and what his parents and what everyone is pressuring him to do with, you know, jo joining the army and becoming part of the the statistics of the Vietnam War. I think college students can definitely relate to the fact that, you know, maybe what everyone else is doing isn't always the right thing. Maybe, you know, maybe you have to kind of question these things for yourself and think for yourself and, and really look for what you think is the right thing to do. Woof is a very free spirit. Um, he loves everyone and everything. But Woof is really, I feel like, the representation of the gay community. Um, in the 60s. It's not really even spoken about in here. It's kind of implied in some of Wolf's songs and his actions and his lines, but it's never really outright stated that he's gay. He actually says at one point that he's not gay. So um, I really think it's Wolf is interesting because it really shows the audiences, especially at that time and now even today, because it's still such a big debate, you know, that sexuality is so fluid and, and, you know, people love who they love. It's not even about gay and straight, it's about just loving everyone and, and accepting everyone for who they are. The fact that it was, it was said and, and, and heard on a Broadway stage in 1968 is pretty cool. And I'm glad that I can bring him to life for audiences in 2015. So this past Sunday, we got to sing with the orchestra in our sits probe. So it was really exciting. We got to hear all of the awesome instruments. can't believe we open in a week. It's crazy. I hope everyone can make it and have some fun, rock out with us, join the groovy revolution. Um, it's gonna be great. Give me a head with hair, long beautiful hair. So now I get to put a beautiful wig on and become the most beautiful beast in the forest. <laughs>